This pack of outstanding hounds is about to do what beagles are born to do. Sniff around till they get the scent of a rabbit, then take off out. And for the true houndsman, there is nothing like hearing them run. We're in Rutherford County, just southeast of Nashville, at a trial called the Tennessee Doubleheader Absolute Knockout which means this one is a big deal in the beagle trial world, with hounds and hunters coming from two or three states away. The youngest here today is Dylan Greer from Whitesville, Kentucky. He plays basketball and several other sports at school, but he'd really rather run the dogs. I, I like this, but I do other things. I play baseball and football and basketball, but I come out here every weekend almost and run my dogs. And I'm always running them during the week and doing all kinds of different stuff. The rules of this contest are really pretty simple. About half a dozen dogs at a time go into the field and run around till they find a rabbit or the scent of where the rabbit has been. Two judges are up on horseback watching every move and they grade the dogs on how well they find and follow the trail. You don't come out here and you just don't let your dog go. It's more than that. You come out here and you gotta watch them hunt because some of them will wander off. You're wanting the dog that runs the most rabbit, it's the closest and the cleanest. This is all about the chase. Actually, catching a rabbit is not important. It does happen, but you might go all day without seeing one, particularly if they're way back in the brush. They usually don't catch a rabbit. It's usually, they never catch them. It's usually the bigger class. If they do, it's usually the bigger dogs that run a lot faster than these little dogs. And any time they get to twisting and turning and weaving through there, that makes it harder on the dogs too, especially ones that's got the desire to want to go because they're going to have to show a little more patience and keep it between their feet rather than, you know, bound off. Conditions are not exactly ideal today. It's been really cold, so the rabbits haven't been moving around as much, and really dry, which makes the scent harder to find. But these are some of the best beagles in Tennessee, in fact, in the entire South. And if there's a rabbit out here, they are going to find it. Look, look. You don't always see what the dogs are doing, but you sure do hear them, making what some hunters call hound music. That's all I've ever done. <laughs> I've done it my whole life, and it, you know, that's just, I grew up doing it, and I've judged my first trial in 1978, so I don't know. It's just, once it gets in your blood, you can't get it out. Most of the field trials here in Tennessee are held in the fall and winter, and they move north when the weather warms up. But wherever they might be, you can find beagles running somewhere just about any weekend. Noses to the ground, tails wagging high, and every one of them hot on the trail. I'm Craig Olympia on the Wild Side.